What's up everybody, welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Montegrappa Heartwood Fountain Pen and how you can win one. So at the Toronto uh, Scriptus Pen Show, which was now almost a month ago, uh, which is scary how fast time flies, um, I met up with Brian from NY Pen Guy. I'll put his handle here on Instagram. Uh, he is like a distributor of uh, Montegrappa and Aurora for Kenro in North America and he asked if I would be interested in reviewing this pen and then hosting a giveaway for all of you gorgeous people. So stay tuned to the end of the video for uh, how to win one of these guys um, after the review. So I've had this now for about a week. Uh, I've been using it pretty much every day uh, for all writing needs. Um, and uh, I've, I've come across a lot of different thoughts about it. Quick thing about the Montegrappa company, because prior to this, I hadn't really delved too much into to Montegrappa. I'd used some pens here and there, but I never owned one. I had never um, like really gotten to use one in and out. So I didn't know much about the company. Um, so, the most popular model that Montegrappa makes is of course the Fortuna, which I'm sure you've probably heard something about already. Most retailers will carry it, um, especially in the US. Canada, it's a little bit harder to find Montegrappa. Not many people carry Montegrappa in Canada as they do elsewhere, um, which hopefully that changes. But, <laughs> um, but the cool thing is that they continue to make uh, active improvements on uh, their models. So uh, for this pen here, based on feedback that they received from the Fortuna, they've actually replaced da -da -da, the whole block and feed system of this actual fountain, fountain pen and the nib itself. Um, so they've really taken a lot of feedback um, and they've incorporated it into um, their pen designs. Um, because of course they know that if their pen, if people don't like their pens, people aren't going to buy them. So why not listen to feedback, right? Um, which is pretty, pretty cool. Another thing that's kind of cool about Montegrappa itself is it's kind of like a family owned business. Um, so Giuseppe Acula, I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Um, he is the CEO uh, of, of Montegrappa and it used to actually be his dad. Um, he is now taken over. But what's cool is that like his mom actually runs the warehouse um, and they have about 60 employees roughly that are all like somehow related to either family, family, friends, things like that. Um, and that's really kind of cool. I like to hear like family businesses. Um, and this wood is actually a new material from them. So a lot of times when I've heard about Montegrappa pens, they've always been like their special editions, whether it's the new Game of Thrones that have just come out. Um, they, they work with a lot of different uh, like pop culture references, materials, things like that. And wood is a new material for them. One of the oldest materials in the world, <laughs> but newest material for Montegrappa to work with. Um, so I think that that's pretty cool. And considering it was born in 1912, so it's 105 years old, roughly. Yeah, 105, if I can do math, I can't. Um, then that's pretty cool that they're continually, uh, you know, innovating and trying to make something new and exciting, uh, not only for them, but for us. Uh, so that is pretty cool. I specifically went with the walnut color, um, but there are a couple other colors. There's one that's much, much darker than this and one that's much, much lighter. Um, but I liked this one because this one to me looked the most like wood. Um, and it really has a very nice grain. You can see, like it literally looks like it, it, it's turned and, and then that's it, it's just, it's just wood. Um, you can see the grain, you can feel like the grain and I really, really like that. Um, so at the top of the pen, you have the 1912 emblem here. It kind of almost looks like a copper penny. Um, which again, you'll see better in the close-ups. Um, and then it comes down to kind of, a, again, a copper plated uh, clip. It's a pretty stiff clip. Um, you really gotta, gotta rock it. Uh, so this, for example, is like a, just like kind of like a notebook here. If I wanted to clip that, I, I would have to like kind of heft it up a little. Um, but once it does that, because of this little ball that it's got here, 
it does slide pretty nicely. So it's a little stiff, it might loosen up over time, uh, but it definitely does its job. Around the base of the cap here, you have more kind of coppery rose plating, um, and it's just in scrolled Monte Grappa. And I really like the writing. Uh, the the like calligraphy or, or cursive writing is really, really nice. Um, coming down to the end of the barrel here, it tapers down and just has a wood end. Uh, it does unscrew. You do have fairly large threads here. They are noticeable if you hold them. They're not sharp, but they're definitely prominent. Um, and there's a little bit of a step between the threads and the barrel. Uh, that said, the grip section for me is quite large enough where I don't have my thumb or anything like that on the threads. Um, so I don't feel them at all. It is a metal uh, section, but it's coated so it's not slippery. Um, so unlike some of the other pens that I've had, like the Lamy Studio um, or the Visconti Van Gogh or things like that, where your hands do tend to slip on a metal grip, um, this doesn't happen because like I said, there is a coating. Um, so it doesn't do that. And then of course it comes down to the beautiful nib, which I cannot wait to show you the close-ups. Um, you unscrew the barrel. It is a standard international cartridge converter pen. Uh, I happen to have one of the Monte Grappa uh, cartridges, short cartridges in there. Um, it comes with black cartridges. I finished that one and I've actually uh, filled this one again using just like an ink syringe um, with Monte Grappa coffee, so they're brown ink. Because uh, I figured, you know what, a brown ink into a brown wood pen would seemingly go pretty well. <laughs> um, plus I'm one of those nerds that don't necessarily like matchy-matchy their pen to ink, but I kind of matchy-matchy. Uh, so the pen does post, it's just push to post. It's very secure. Um, when it's posted, it's ever so slightly back weighted for me, but again, I'm very susceptible to that because I normally don't ever post my pens. Um, that said, I can use this posted. Um, it doesn't really throw off the balance too much, but it is definitely long enough where I don't have to. I don't think most people would have to post this, um, but it can and it, it posts very well should you want to, um, which I think is quite nice. Uh, inside the cap too, uh, has like, I'm gonna see if I can try and show you. See these like white kind of rings in there? I like that um, because then when you are capping it, it's not like it's metal onto metal, which drives me nuts with some pens. The um, pen that I reviewed not too long ago from Trilogy Zero, that's metal on metal um, for the capping. And I just, I don't know, I don't really like the feel of it. So I'm, I'm very happy that this isn't metal on metal um, because it's very, very smooth. Um, one cool thing that I'm sure is not necessarily an intentional feature, but just something I've noticed as I've used the pen um, is that the wood material really picks up the warmth from your hand. So if you're like me, <laughs> I tend to hold my cap in one hand I don't know if it's like a safety blanket or like one of those like pacifier things when you're a baby. I just, I like to, to hold the cap in my hand while I'm writing. And then, you know, of course you're holding this pen, obviously. Um, and it really does pick up your warmth and responds to you. So when you put it down, you pick it back up, you really notice that it hangs on to like the, the little bit of warmth. Um, and I think that that's really, really cool. To me, that kind of gives like a, a natural like nod to the natural material. Um, wood would naturally pick that up. So I really like it and I love the feel of it. Um, you know, most of the pens that I have are resin pens. Um, so this is really nice. And resin doesn't do that. It doesn't pick up your warmth. Like sure, like anything, like paper, you know, you pick it up, it'll hold your warmth. If you have a, a really weird ballpoint, like sure, it'll pick up like, you know, the heat from your hand, but this just seems to like get cozy. This is gonna sound so weird and I don't know exactly how to describe this, but you know like that warm, comfortable feeling you get when you sit by like a warm fire? That's kind of like this. It just, it picks up that warmth and it responds to you. Um, I know it's kind of nerdy, but that's just the way I feel when I write about it.
Um, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and do a writing sample, and then, then we're gonna talk about how you can win this fountain pen. All right, so we've got the quick pattern fox jumps over the lazy dog. Um, this is a medium steel nib uh, from Montegrappa. It almost has a slight stub quality to it, which I really, really like. Um, this pen is uh, very, very smooth. There is a little bit of, of feedback to it. It's not the wettest pen, um, and that is something that I can change, um, but out of the box, it wasn't the wettest of writers, uh, but I think that is what most people probably go towards. It's not dry um, by any means, but I like my pens to be basically fire hoses, So, <laughs> but I don't think most people do. So I think most people will really like this right out of the gate. Um, there is a little bit of heat feedback, but it's not too, too bad, um, and you do get Despite the fact that it is a steel nib, you can get out a little bit of line variation, um, which is really nice. So that every once in a while, if you do need to, to throw in a little flare, you can. Um, I mean, it's by no means like gold flex or actual flex capability, um, but it definitely does uh, have a little bit, which is cool. Uh, reverse writing. You sure can, and it's actually not very scratchy at all, which uh, I really appreciate. Um, this pen is definitely a surprise. I haven't used a steel nib um, very often anymore. Um, and while this is definitely stiffer than a gold nib would be, um, I do quite like the smoothness. Um, and again, I'm, I'm gonna throw it back once again to the feel that this has in my hand. I just, I love the feel so much. Um, but I like the way that this writes. I don't have any complaints. Like I said, I'm probably would make it a little bit wetter, um, just for my own personal taste, but out of the box, this worked very, very well. Um, and I prefer that. I don't really like, you know, pens that are so, so out of the box and then you gotta, gotta fix it later. The, there's just no point to that in my opinion. Um, but uh, yeah, so I would really recommend it. Um, if you can, definitely pick one up. These pens are a little bit pricey, um, but I think the material and the writing experience is, is you know, very nice. Um, so for Canada, um, this pen is, I think just over about $400. Um, in the US, I've seen it for about 380, and this is all retail pricing. Um, but I really am impressed with the way that this writes. Um, I quite like the feel. And like I said, there's just, there's something special about the way that this wood feels in my hand. Um, I really, I wish I could describe the way that it makes me feel other than just really happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so writing, there's really nothing I can complain. Um, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and let you know how you guys can win one of these bad boys. So how can you win this? <laughs> well. The main way that this is going to be uh, given away is through Instagram. So my handle, which is right here, um, is literally just pens and tea. Uh, so it shouldn't be a surprise to you. <laughs> um, I'm going to post a photo today. It should already be there, to be honest, by the time this video goes up. Um, and all of the rules will be in the description of the photo. Uh, but for those of you who either haven't used Instagram before, um, very rarely ever use Instagram or things like that, um, I wanted to let you know in this video so that you would have a shot as well. Um, so head over to my Instagram, re uh, repost that photo. Um, you can do that a couple different ways. There are different apps that will like allow you to repost it. There is an app actually called Repost. <laughs> I think that's the one that I use. Um, or you could screen cap, like screen grab the photo that I did and then literally when you're posting your own photo, just crop it so that you're having that photo. Um, you're gonna tag me in the photo. So literally just say at pens and tea, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, and then I want you to say either what the first Montegrappa pen was that you ever used or 
what was the one that you remember anyways, that you first remember hearing about. And then what I want you to do is just use the hashtag and hashtags are important so that I can find these uh, as well. Uh, hashtag pens and tea heartwood. I was kind of like doing, wanting to do a play on like pens and tea heartwoods Monte Grappa, but I was like, that's gonna be a really long hashtag. Um, so just pens and tea heartwood. Um, and it's gonna be live for one week. So each account gets one post. Um, so like I said, just re repost the photo using that hashtag and tag me. And then if you can put a comment or description uh, into what your favorite uh, or your first Monte Grappa pen you ever used or the first one you ever heard about. Um, and then one week later, so on American Thanksgiving, uh, which is November 23rd, I will announce a winner. This is open worldwide, so it does not matter where you live, um, and you will be able to win the exact same fountain pen, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, I quite like it. Um, I'm not surprised that I like it, but it's really just the way that the material responds to my hand, which is what I'm really surprised about and what I'm really digging. Um, so yeah. Head on over to Instagram, you have one week, you have one repost, and definitely guys, definitely enter, um, and it will go to hopefully a very good home. Um, I will do a, a quick video um, announcing the winner as well as over on Instagram. The contest is held completely over on Instagram, but I will do a video just very quickly to announce who won. Um, so guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, good luck with the contest. I hope that you like this because um, I'm hoping that I can do these more often. Um, and guys, as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.